For today's video, we got some more Fortnite, and in this one, I'm gonna be sharing with you all some tips that I came across when it comes to building. All right, so the first thing I wanna point out is which material is the strongest. And for those who don't know, the strongest material is metal, the second strongest is stone, and the weakest material is wood. So right here, you can see that wood has a total of 350 health points before it's upgraded. And if we switch the material over to stone, you can see stone has 525 health points before it's upgraded. And when we switch to metal, you can see that it has a total of 700 health points. And while we're talking about health points, I'm gonna go ahead and build each type of wall with each upgrade and then compare the health points between the different wall upgrades. So starting off with wood, you can see it has 350 health. You go to stone, it's 525. And when you go to metal, it's 700 health points. But when we upgrade wood, it goes from 350 to 790. And when we upgrade it again, it goes to 1,225 health points. And when we go to stone, it starts off with 525 health points. When we upgrade it once, it goes to 1180. And when we upgrade it again, it goes to 1840. Now, when we go to metal, the very first metal wall is gonna give you 700 health points. Uh, when you upgrade metal once, it gives you 1575. And when you upgrade it again, it gives you 2450 health points. So again, with that being said, metal is the strongest material out of all three types. Another tip I wanted to point out is that you can save some materials when you build with a constructor. So as you can see right now, I'm building with the Ninja. And when I first placed down a wooden wall, it cost me 10 wooden materials. When I upgraded it once, it cost 20 wooden materials. And when I upgraded it again, it cost me 30 wood materials. And again, that's how many materials it's gonna cost you if you're not playing as a constructor. But if you play as a constructor, which you can see me doing now, it's only gonna cost nine materials to build the first wall as compared to 10 with any other class. It's gonna cost a total of 18 materials to upgrade it as compared to 20 with any other class. And when you upgrade it a third time, it's only gonna cost 27 wooden materials as compared to 30. So if you plan on building at your storm shield, you definitely wanna build with a constructor because it's gonna save you materials. Now this next tip has to do with gathering materials for building. Once you unlock the skill that shows the critical hit circle, which allows you to deal more damage when you hit that circle. Once you unlock that, I found a tip that allows you to hit it more often, which is gonna allow you to gather materials quicker. And basically uh, what you're gonna do is walk up to a wall and when you're hitting the wall with your pickaxe, you're gonna hit it from the side instead of from the front or the back. That way it's gonna narrow the possible places where the critical hit circle can pop up. So you don't have to move left or right basically. And another thing I wanna point out is that you wanna aim down when you're hitting that wall from the side. That way you won't have to aim up or down because the crit hit circle is gonna keep popping up at that corner that's on the side of the wall. So when you're trying to get materials, I'd recommend that you try to knock down walls from the side while aiming down because it's gonna allow you to hit that crit hit circle a lot more often. And you can also do the same thing when it comes to floor pieces as well. But when it comes to floor pieces, you wanna try to aim at the corner of the piece while looking down. And more often than not, the crit hit circle is gonna pop up there and you'll be able to hit it, do more damage, and get your materials quicker. Now this is a tip I'm sure most people already know about, but when it comes to destroying structures that have more than one floor, like let's say for example, a house that has a roof, if you wanna destroy that entire structure, uh, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take out all of the pieces that connect it to the ground. And as you can see in this example, we had some wooden pieces connected only to one piece that was on the ground. We took out that piece that was on the ground and it took away all of the pieces. So yeah, if you're trying to destroy a building, just take out all of the pieces that connect the upper floors to the ground and you'll be able to destroy it a lot quicker. Now as for the next tip, I'm gonna be showing you how you can build a lot quicker. Now for the first couple of days I played this game, whenever I went into edit mode and tried to edit a wall, I would just press the trigger on each square and then exit edit mode and build my wall that way. But I noticed that when you go into edit mode on the wall, uh, you don't have to just press the trigger. You can hold down the trigger and then move it across the squares that you don't want. 
then exit edit mode and build your wall and that's going to allow you to build your walls a lot quicker and the same can be done in reverse if you're trying to add more squares to the wall again just hold down your trigger button and select the squares you want to add and it's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to building walls another thing that can help you save time when it comes to building is to use the rotate option and in this example i'm going to be trying to make a triangle with these two walls and you'll notice that when i tried to build the second part it automatically looks like the first one instead of being the opposite which is what i wanted it to do and of course you can run over to the other side like i do here and make it connect that way uh, another thing you can do is go into edit mode and change your squares around but the quickest way to do it is to just press the rotate button and that way you can make your little triangle or whatever type of build you're trying to do so yeah make sure you use that rotate button because it can save you a lot of time now for any reason let's say you're at your storm shield and you want to get rid of a wall that you've already upgraded you know how it can take you a while to get rid of that wall especially if it's upgraded well one way you can make that go by a little bit quicker is to go into edit mode and change the size of the wall try to make it as small as possible and then exit edit mode and while that wall is changing use your pickaxe to destroy it and you should be able to destroy that wall a lot quicker so that was another tip i wanted to point out uh, before you start destroying walls make sure you make it as small as possible and then use your pickaxe to destroy the wall and it should let you destroy it a lot quicker now for the ninth tip this one has to do with building during missions i'm not sure if y'all already know this or not but let's say with the ride the lightning mission which is the mission where you have to protect the van we're going to be using that one as an example but you can do this with other missions as well a lot of missions will ask you for some blue glow and as soon as you put in the blue glow it'll give you the option to activate it and start the mission but before you activate it it's going to show you where the enemies are going to be coming from so in this example you can see the storm up in the clouds when I go to that area you can see some purple circles on the mini map and that's basically where the enemies are going to be spawning from so after you put in the blue glow before you activate and start the mission be sure to check out where the enemies are coming from and you can build around that location and as for the 10th and final tip I did mention this one in a previous video but this one also has to do with building uh, if you're in your storm shield you can allow others to help you build I wouldn't necessarily recommend allowing just anybody to help you build because they may try to troll you and destroy some of your stuff but if you're playing with some friends it can definitely help you get your home base built a lot quicker you just want to make sure that your friends already have materials because as we all know there's not a lot of materials available at the home base and the way you give others permission is by going to the computer that sets your storm shield and then select the tab that says permissions and from there you can give other people in your party the permission to build at your home base so yeah if you're playing with one other person you're basically going to be building twice as fast if you're playing in a full party you're going to be building like four times as fast as you normally would so again i know i mentioned this in a previous video but I know this is a great way to get your home base built a lot quicker and I felt like it deserved to be here. Anyways that pretty much sums up the 10 tips and tricks I have for now when it comes to building in Fortnite. If y'all enjoyed the video or found it useful in any way don't forget to do what you do. I'm A1. Thanks for watching.